Welcome to 12 Minutes or Less with the Author. I'm your host, T.L. Brown, but you can call me Tracy. Let's get started. Hey there. It's been a while since I've recorded a non-video podcast, and I thought, well, let's talk about a subject that's been on my mind for a while. I'm doing this in my kitchen, so hopefully the room noise or the hard surfaces won't make this too painful to listen to. Today I wanted to talk about book funnel and also touch a little bit on story origin. For authors who don't know book funnel and story origin are online platforms that can be leveraged to build your email list or send out ARC copies, advanced reader copies, um, give away a reader magnet, and you can join with other authors in sales promotions, giveaway promotions. They are typically genre specific. So if you are a fantasy author, you would join a promotion with other fantasy authors In your email newsletter, you would announce it with a special link that's unique to you that would go to a page where all the authors in the promotion would have books listed. And again, this could be for free giveaways of an ebook where a reader who would click on that banner in a newsletter would be presented with the books. And if they decided they wanted a free ebook, they would trade their email address for that book. That email address would be added to your list and you could either integrate it with your own mailing list um, newsletter provider, such as MailChimp. There are other ones, of course. Or if you don't integrate it with the mailing provider that you use, you could just you know collect the addresses and manually add them separately. And it's relatively inexpensive. I believe I was paying $10 a month at BookFunnel for the service and then an additional $5 uh, to have everything seamlessly added to my email list, which is through MailChimp. So for $15 a month, that's not bad. And I walked in with a very small list. I think... 250 subscribers is what I had earned on my own over time. And that's a really, really small email list. And I knew other authors were using BookFunnel, so I thought, well, I'll give it a try. And I did. And I grew my list by leaps and bounds. I was shocked at how many people did sign up. Uh, By signing up, they got the free book that I was giving away. And I gave away... My first book, Door to Door, which is a paranormal mystery. And then later on, I gave away another book from a different series called A Thin Witch Line Between Love and Hate. And I didn't give away as many of those. I am lukewarm on Book Funnel. I think it is a great place to start. Um, part of the challenge is people will sign up, receive your book, and then unsubscribe from your email newsletter list. Uh, Or maybe they don't unsubscribe. They just never open an email from you. And if you're like me, you look at your email newsletter data and you can see, you can run reports and see who opens your email and who doesn't. And I segment my emails. And if I see someone hasn't opened, yeah, let's say the last six months, well... (laughs) They don't seem to be very engaged. So I tried Story Origin soon after that. I I used BookFunnel for about a year. And before that year was up, I also joined Story Origin to see if that was a different experience. Ironically, (laughs) what I found was the people signing up, the readers signing up for a free book on BookFunnel, were also signing up for a free book on Story Origin. So... I was reaching the same audience. I wasn't getting a new audience. I only did Story Origin for, I believe, two months. Now, I exclusively used it to build my 
email list with a reader magnet. And I also joined some sales promotions. Um, with BookFunnel, for example, there were promotions saying if you were uh, using Kobo Plus, you could join that. So you don't give anything away. You just encourage readers to look at books on Kobo Plus. Or perhaps you're running a sale on your book on Amazon for a limited time. You lower your price. And once again, you join with other authors and that is a way to promote your sale. You don't get any email addresses, but it's it's a tool to use to uh, promote your book and others. The nice thing is when you are using these platforms, you do reach a broader audience because you have other authors who maybe have massive email list sharing their link to the same page. They have an individual link, but it goes to the same page where all the books are listed. So people can find you. There are pluses to BookFunnel. Absolutely. And, and to be clear, there are many other features, and I encourage you to look at bookfunnel.com and storyorigin.com to learn if that would be right for you. Um, I am not by any way getting any, um, uh, this is not a paid promotion. Uh, this is just my experience and review, and I'm sharing it as an author who has used those two platforms. When you go into it, you have to go in with the understanding that you're going to give a lot away for free and perhaps get a small return. That was my experience. I gave a lot away for free and I received a small return, but I did receive a return. So that that is a plus for me. I did connect with readers that I, I did not recognize that I had never connected with before. Um, they stayed on my list. They engaged with my list. They perhaps responded to an email. They entered a contest. I, I run a giveaway every month. If you're on my email list, that is the only place where I am running giveaways. And it could be anything from an Amazon gift card to uh, a free signed paperback copy of one of my books. So there is definitely value to places like Book Funnel or Story Origin. But you have to be willing to use it as a loss leader, in my experience, in my opinion. You have to be willing and, and happy to give away something you created for free. Um, <laughs> my husband says, even drug dealers know to give the first hit away for free. And that's really a horrible way of putting it, but he is making a point. If you are not ready to do that, then these types of platforms are maybe not for you. Once again, there's frequently asked question pages on both bookfunnel.com and storyorigin.com, so check them out. I did find on pluses, bookfunnel is a hugely robust platform. I go in knowing that you will need to learn it well, but I thought it once you know how to use it, I think it's great. Story origin, I didn't get that rhythm very easily, you know, easily, but other people may um, know that you need to go in with, with time to learn the platform on how to use it. You can do author swaps as well. Uh, and that is, hey, I promote your book, you promote my book, and you pick positions in your newsletter, the newsletter you're going to do it with, uh, you share the number of subscribers on your email list, just number, not the actual, you know, subscribers. Um, so definitely check these two out. They're relatively affordable, but I will also tell you that after a year of using BookFunnel, I have suspended my account. I've wiped off mm, probably 40% of the emails subscribers that I earned through BookFunnel. I've called them from my email list. They... They are not um, interested in receiving my email messages. So I, I've i called them from my list. So be prepared to, to continuously look at your data. Very important. Can't make decisions without data. Look at your data. See if it is 
a benefit to you using book funnel story origin and i'm sure there's others out there these are just the two i know about and i wanted to share my experience so that is all i have for you today i hope this was at least useful in that you might check these platforms out see if they're useful talk to other authors, see what they've used. If you have any questions, drop them in a comment below. You can also go to my website, writertracybrown.com. That's writer, Tracy, T-R-A-C-Y, brown, B-R-O-W-N.com. And you can go to my contact form, send me a message, contact me through my social media channels. Uh, Instagram is probably the number one, um, but I encourage you to drop a comment below this podcast video and I'll answer what I can. Talk to your peers, talk to other indie authors in the indie author community, find out what they're doing. This is a business. We are artists, we are creators, but it's also a business and let's learn from each other. Thanks for listening and uh, stay tuned because in the next month or so I'm talking to author Bruce Spider who has the Shy Backpacker series. So stay tuned and thanks for listening. Have a great day. Take care. This has been 12 Minutes or Less with the author. Thanks for listening to today's episode. Hope you can join me for the next one. Until then, this is Tracy, aka Author T.L. Brown, signing off. Thank you.